A Tascadero police just released the name of the man shot by an officer during a bizarre rampage on the 4th of July. News Channel 3's Keith Carls reports from a Tascadero. A Tascadero police believe they have ample evidence, both from eyewitness testimony and from cell phone video, that this was a justified officer-involved shooting. 59-year-old Gary Reynolds is recovering in the hospital from a single gunshot wound to his stomach by an Atascadero police officer last Monday afternoon. Right now all we know is that he has prior arrests um, in our county and we are still investigating to determine what might have been the motivation for this incident. Several witnesses have told Atascadero police that Reynolds was on a rampage with his pickup truck on both sides of El Camino Real when officers arrived on scene. Police say Reynolds confronted the officers with a metal pipe. Police say the use of tasers and other less lethal weapons failed to subdue Reynolds before Atascadero Police Sergeant Greg Meyer shot Reynolds, who then collapsed to the pavement and was taken into custody and by ambulance to the hospital. I know that we are pursuing charges of assault with a deadly weapon against our officers and felony vandalism for the damage that was uh, done to the building and to the vehicle across the street. Chief Haley says Sergeant Meyer has been placed on paid leave pending the outcome of an internal and external investigation into the shooting on Monday. Sergeant Meyer is a, a 20 year veteran of law enforcement. He's got 10 years with the Atascadero Police Department. Uh, he's served all 10 years here as a supervisor. He was hired as a sergeant 10 years ago. Uh, prior to serving here, he served uh, some time with the Los Angeles Police Department and with the Covina Police Departments, um, and he served with, with distinction. The San Luis Obispo County District Attorney's Office is conducting its own independent investigation of this officer-involved shooting here on El Camino Real on the 4th of July. In Atascadero, Keith Carls, News Channel 3.